Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So, viewer discretion is advised. I see that OBS is recording the audio and video. I see that Audacity is recording our commentary. Yes, we're ready to record a subscription! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Woo. So, last time a whole bunch of stuff happened and apparently OBS Nothing didn't got record seen. the video. Yeah. So, I had to re-record all of that, or at least I will have to... In the, future, in the future, after recording these, these the ones, rest of the videos, I'm waiting and two years. And, and yeah, yeah uh, it hopefully stinks. it turns out well. <laughs> I think it'll... Eh. <laughs> Marty's already like, it stinks. You did not your, me? Not yours is going to be... Oh, oh. I'm saying, like, it stinks <laughs> that you have to do that. Oh, not yeah, like, yeah. it will stink. I thought you were saying, like, the re-recorded video stinks already. <laughs> Which could be possible. Anyhow, be, we're still on bridge oh well. to the turnabout. We are on the final trial. All right. Final trial of Phoenix Wright. February 10th, 9.39 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Cool. Good morning. Oh, are you by yourself? Uh, morning, Pearls. M Mr. Nick, please tell me. What's going to happen to Mystic Maya? I'm sorry. We don't know yet. The investigation is still going on, so I wasn't allowed into the inner, inner temple. Oh, I see. So is Sister Iris still trying to remove those trick locks in the training hall? No. She's the defendant in this case, so she can't be at the inner temple. She's required to be here in court. Um, then how come she's not here in the defendant's lobby? I have to admit, it's kind of strange. If you're looking for Iris, she's in the prosecutor's lobby. There's a separate lobby for defense attorneys and prosecutors? Mm -hmm. That explains a lot. That explains why we're not- it's- It's we never, not like, hey Winston Payne! Hi! <laughs> no, that explains why we haven't seen, like, Von Karma or Von Karma being like, psh, 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 You're gonna do this! You're gonna do this yeah. thing! Or Von Karma like, You will never talk about this thing you did! <laughs> Von Hart, I don't care if you were looking for Gordy, you're not going to mention that again! <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth. What's Iris doing over there? She's going over today's testimony of the prosecutor as we speak. <laughs> Can we get this on record and be like, um, they're goats. They're telling they're me what goats. to say. <laughs> today's testimony? You heard me. Iris is going to be testifying as a witness for the prosecution. Wait, what? The prosecutor is squeezing her for a confession. Or so I heard. Francisca von Karma, what are you up to? What about Goodell? I know what you're thinking, but Francisca isn't going yeah. to be the prosecutor today. What? Then who is? Who else would it be but Godot? I thought you could be like, who Godot. else would it be but me? <laughs> Godot. Francisca is engaged in some important work at the Sacred Cavern. Like whipping the locks. <laughs> the Sacred Cavern? You don't mean that she's... Exactly. She has been out there all night trying to remove those trick locks. Bless her! That's so sweet. That is nice. I mean, I know she doesn't know anything about removing them, but... <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit, Francisca's been up at this point for like 48 hours. She... More than that. She, so she probably did a full day's prosecuting in Germany, and she was like, you need to get her now and uh, face me in court. She's like, oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Goes on the flight. Doesn't have time to sleep on the flight. She's reading all the stuff. Reading Go, all the stuff. Stops at Godot's house. Gets all the paperwork for the case. Picks rushes up a to the Rushes to the courtroom. Does the prosecuting, goes to the Hatsukura Temple, trains, not trains there, investigates <laughs> there, um, and now she's currently removing Can the locks. Can you imagine so, her trying to train? Okay, Francisca, now you need to go under this, like, waterfall, waterfall and she's like, with pleasure. <laughs> it's like a spa day for her. No. With the head nun's assistance, naturally. We estimate that the last of the locks should be taken care of in about three hours. Oh! I hope everything continues to go smoothly and we receive some good news soon. Yeah, hopefully we're yeah. not in the middle of court and it's just like, Maya's dead, and then Phoenix has a mental breakdown, just like, Nyah! Yeah, thanks, Edgeworth. Prosecutor Godot intends to nail this case shut today. Oh, well, yeah. Be prepared to fight like there's no tomorrow. Sure. You don't have to tell me that. You just gotta hang out? I know. I can already see it in your eyes. You're not the same fever-ridden, frantic maniac you were yesterday. It's strange. On the way here, I decided that today would be the end of all of this. Almost immediately after I made that decision, I felt myself getting stronger. Interesting. Maybe you've passed your cold on to someone else. Literally. 
And with that, I leave the rest in your capable hands, partner. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, Edgeworth. See ya. He just flies back to Germany. Edgeworth? <laughs> He's, he wasn't in Germany. He was, he was just over... abroad. Where do you think he is? In America eating hot dogs? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's in... Well, I bet I know where he is, but I can't say because... Oh. Edgeworth He's games. in Russia. I still don't have the answers for most of the riddles plaguing this case. We kind of do, though. The circumstances around the murder of Miss Elise Donum? No, I mean Miss Misty Fay. The impossible flight Larry claims to have seen. Morgan's and death. And what Lear. that woman is really after. Or she's not dead, never mind. She's just like... She's in solitary confinement. I will solve them all and bring this whole tragedy to an end. I feel like some of this wouldn't have happened if we were just like, Yo, Pearl, your mom's bad news. <laughs> and then, like, she's like, okay! <laughs> February 10th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number 7. Hey. Court is now in session for Wait. the trial of Iris of Hazakura Temple. Why do we have a different judge? Everything that we've learned beforehand is like, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um... Your Honor, what are you? Who? Me? Well, my little brother came to visit me in my chambers earlier this morning. Okay. All of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, he developed a scorching fever and fainted. Therefore, I'll be standing in for him. Uh, I see, Your Honor. So they're brothers! That explains a lot! How different in age are they? Because they don't look similar at all. They both have the beard. Okay, but one of them has, like, a beard, and one of them has, like, the blonde beard. Are they like 20 years Maybe different? one of them both dyes their beard and the other doesn't. Who dyes their beard? Someone who likes gray beards. I don't know why, no. <laughs> this judge dyes his beard gray. That would be weird. Like this, this judge is like, and now I realize it, he is basically like the human version of the Mario Party 5 star, Elder Star, whatever. Elder Star. Elder Star, also from Paper Mario. Yeah, like, <laughs> thanks for mentioning the way better game first. Yeah, Paper no. Mario. Paper Mario is the sec my yeah. second favorite game of yeah, all time. Yeah, I know time. that's your second favorite game. I love Mario Party 5. That's the best of the Mario parties, but I mean, it's a pretty you don't narrow, like it's a narrow You don't like luck-based games. Correct. They're stupid. <laughs> I like them. My poor brother. He looked a bit pale, not to mention sad that he couldn't be here. Good, I was like, whatever. What I miss... <laughs> It is impossible to predict what the future has in store for any of us. This is precisely why people feel the need to judge the past. Ooh. And we of the court have been charged with the solemn duty of passing such judgment. Ooh. Well said, Mr. Godot. I understood exactly what you said, at least up until the end, anyway. Also, fun fact, the, the judge, the defense, and the prosecution are all completely different from the first day's trial. Yep. <laughs> Now then, Mr. Godot, please can proceed with your opening statement. Humans are fragile, fickle beings. Our hearts change with the shifting of the tides. There's only one thing that remains a constant in this crazy world. Coffee. The bitter <laughs> darkness that lies at the bottom of this mug. So then you mean... Um, forget it, what do you mean? During yesterday's trial, the accused refused to admit her role in the crime. But today, she has had a change of heart. Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple has a confession to make. C confession The the defendant? Eh. Iris. Why didn't she discuss this with me first? Because she's going to try and make sure that she can take the blame for her sister. <laughs> if she's still alive. Very well. This court will now hear the defendant's confession. Come on, people. Upon meeting a beautiful lady, always ask for her name and profession. Um... That's one of my rules. Okay. Dude, she's 26 and you're... Question mark. <laughs> question mark? Well, you were probably a little... I actually think little... he's like 32. I think he was a little bit older than Mia during his fir the first trial. He was a year older than Mia, and I think Mia was 25. So he'd then... be 26, so six years later he'd be 32. Okay. That's a pretty... I mean, actually, 26, 32... Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Um, my name is Iris. I am but a simple nun undergoing training at Hazakura Temple. Witness, is there something that you want to confess to? Yes. But first, I want to apologize to Mr. Wright. I... I 
I can't continue lying to everyone anymore. What is she gonna say? <laughs> no, never mind. I don't have a twin sister. I'm just a terrible person. <laughs> it's all right. What is it? Mr. Wright, I have to admit that I... I did play a part in this terrible incident. Are... Are you actually confessing? Are you saying that you were the one who murdered Miss Elise Donham? No, I'm not, Your Honor. But I dealt with the cover-up after the murder took place. After her spirit left, I took the lifeless shell of Mystic Elise and carried it to the Hazakura Temple Courtyard where I desecrated it. What? What? Well, I mean, fine. Uh, order in the court! Order! W witness, are you... Are you saying you were an accomplice to the murder? Yes. That's correct. What?! That's not- we knew this! We already knew that she could have done that. Three minutes in court and I'm already covered in a cold sweat. Ha. Everyone on the planet is an accomplice to something. It just happens to be that in this case, it's to murder. Whatever. Isn't that right, Mr. Trite? Ah, that could do. So this is the confession they were conferring about. Pains me to say this. But it looks like Iris's testimony was all a lie. Iris's testimony crumpled up and shoved into a pocket. Well, we still need it, though. Now then, little lady, if you don't mind, I've got a question for you. Whose crime were you trying to cover up by your actions? Iris was covering for someone? <clears throat> no, I'm definitely up the creek without a paddle or a life jacket. I've been in Hazakura Temple ever since I was a little girl. Hazakura Temple is run by one of the branch families of the Kareen tradition. One of our missions is to protect the main family. I'm sorry, but main family? Yes, and that's why I would dirty myself, if need be, to protect her. The daughter of the master of the Kareen channeling technique. Mystic Maya Fey! Huh? For her protection? Well, I mean, if Maya's alive, cool. Wake up and smell the coffee, Trite. Sh she's naming... MAYA?! Oh no, wait, she's naming Maya as the murderer? Yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> she's literally trapped! <laughs> order, order in the court. Sh so not only did you witness the murder, you know the name of the murderer? I'm terribly sorry, but it's true. I saw her commit the crime with my very own eyes. And then I cleaned up the area to try to protect her. I'm wondering if, like, Maya died, and then they were like, Channel! But, 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 hey, no, that's ridiculous! Maya could never do such a- The defense talked way later than the text appeared because Marty was busy Sorry. talking. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean- think, I didn't think it would just continue like that. It, it but, does that sometimes. Okay. The defense will refrain from commenting until the appropriate time. Oh, that's so appropriate. Sorry. <laughs> now, witness, let's hear your testimony. This is garbage. What exactly happened on the night of the crime? Maya was killed, and then, um, somebody channeled her spirit, and then Iris is like, Ah! She did it! That's probably what happened. I don't know. Yes, Your Honor. I thought I was prepared for the unexpected. But I never imagined the case would wind this up going in this direction. not unexpected. I... Maya gets accused of murder in, like, every yeah, game she Yeah, everything she does. Literally every game she appears in. The first, all three of these games, she's accused of murder at, least at one twice. point. twice. First oh, game, she was accused in case two. Second game, she was accused in case two. And now she's accused in case five of this one. She's been accused more than that. Or no, she got kidnapped. That doesn't count. That doesn't really count. You can't accuse yourself of being kidnapped. <laughs> the real murderer. I went to the inner temple that night and I saw it all happen in the garden. Okay, well, if you saw the garden and, like, the person, like, my, uh, <laughs> then yeah, maybe. <laughs> I saw Mystic Elise strike Mystic Maya with her staff. Hmm, maybe, maybe they like met and then Maya was like, is this my mom? What? And then her mom was like, Ugh. no, it's not. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm wondering if they had like a conversation and then it turned into like an outburst from her because she's probably like, what the heck? You left me for 17 years. Great mom. Woohoo. <laughs> mom of the year. Mom of the year award. <laughs> Confetti. <laughs> Maya just can't. Maya seems like the type who would keep confetti in her pocket. Just oh, one hundred percent. If she had that like popper in her pocket, and just she be like, picked it up though. That's true. While Mystic Maya was still stumbling, Mystic Elise moved in to deliver a fatal strike. Mystic Maya tried desperately to defend herself and stole the weapon. It 
was only in self-defense. You can't blame her for it. Well, if it's just in self-defense, she's not going to be like... She'll be arrested. Yeah, but, but she's not going to be like in jail for life. No, she's not. But she'll be in jail for a while. Like, how long? A few years, maybe. How I, I don't know. I need to look up later how okay, long you have to understand, jail for self This is not the English this is not the American or the Japanese court system. This is its own weird court. So we don't really know. <sighs> yeah, clearly because uh committing perjury isn't a problem. Nor is whipping the judge. Yeah. <laughs> or drinking seventeen cups, cups of, of coffee. coffee. Or snapping constantly. Or <laughs> chucking pigeon seeds. Chucking pigeon seeds. <laughs> or being like, oh la la, I totally had a <laughs> mirror in the restaurant. Actually, no, I didn't. And also throwing <laughs> coffee on people. And <laughs> losing scheduling spot days out your three hair. minutes into the trial. <laughs> so it was in self defense? Yes, Mystic Elise was the one who attacked first. Hmm. That's why I tried my best to protect Mystic Maya. You moved the victim's body to the temple so that Maya wouldn't be suspected. Isn't that right? Not bad. You've got the instincts of a true criminal. Yeah, so does my sister. <laughs> Someone who just murdered three, at least three people. Maybe four? Five? How many One, did Dahlia two. kill? She, she definitely killed three. Poisoned another, but he's still here. But also he died, but then he came back and tried Wake to kill Phoenix. Wake me up inside. Wake me up before you go, though. No, that's, <laughs> no, that's not what I was singing. <laughs> Something's not quite right. I'm sure it was established yesterday that Iris never went to the Inner Temple that night. Yeah. And that the person who did go was... That, that woman. woman. Uh-huh. <laughs> Iris even admitted it. But Iris is like, I have to protect my sister, who's terrible. <laughs> now then, Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. I mean, I understand the nobleness, but... And then I also understand, like, kind of the twin aspect where... Like, I've heard that twins can just kind of, like, sense how the other person's doing, even if they're not around. But... <laughs> I don't know. That, that's what I've heard. It's like a weird twin instinct thing. Sister Iris, your testimony has changed quite a bit since yesterday. Well, the other two people weren't here, so they don't know that. You stated yesterday that on the night of the murder, you didn't go to the inner temple. Objection! Did she now? Too bad for you, what she said yesterday doesn't mean much today. By the way, where were you when she claimed that she didn't go? Um, um uh, I, it was in the inner temple training hall. Does work if it's not in court. A private conversation between the two of you does not con constitute testimony. It should. That would be properly described as hearsay. Come hmm. on. What do you have to say, witness? I just couldn't tell him the truth at that time. Mystic Maya, she's your girlfriend, isn't she? Yeah, basically. I, I didn't want to be the one to break it to you that I saw her commit murder. There, there. We all understand how difficult this is for you. Meanwhile, Pearl's like, Amen! <laughs> they are dating! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now then, let's continue with the testimonial. What did you witness in the temple garden? Well, Your Honor... It's kind of weird that the judge isn't, like, going gaga over her like he did five years ago. <laughs> or for Dahlia. Her twin. Well, who but Dahlia exactly was like the... I'm so pretty and I have butterflies and the parasite like Maybe the judge just likes redheads. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't I don't know. It's kind of yeah. a different thing. You're saying that the victim attacked Maya, I mean Miss Faye? Yes. It was a truly frightening scene. Mystic Maya was struck hard on the head and it looked like she was going to collapse. What were you doing at the time? Um why didn't you stop them from fighting? I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I was... I was frightened. I couldn't move. I couldn't even speak. I was in such shock. Hmm. That's perfectly understandable, my dear. No, it's not. This doesn't sound right. I don't believe this testimony for a minute. Yeah, I know that Godot's just like, You're not gonna say this, princess. How about a latte? <laughs> here, here, I'll give you a coffee if you agree not to. I make good coffee. <laughs> what happened after that? Mr. Godot gave me coffee. <laughs> Mr. Maya stumbled. Yeah. And then, yeah. <laughs> she moved in to deliver a fatal strike. Yes, I'm sure of it. She threw down her staff and reached into her rope for a weapon. Wait a minute. What was this weapon? It... it was... some kind of dagger. 
A dagger, huh? And Elise Donum tried to stab her with this weapon? To kill Miss Faye? Yes, exactly. Well, she did have a dagger in her staff. And we do know that. Sword, not dagger. Oh. Ha. I've had my fourth cup of coffee. You look like I did after I mistakenly took a swig of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see that. A fan comic. <laughs> this is terrible. Do you have a problem with the testimony we're hearing from your client, lawyer boy? Hmm. Do I have a problem with Iris' testimony? I mean, yeah. No problem. There is one thing. <laughs> I mean, you know. Iris is my client. I better not press her too hard. The defense has no objection to Miss Iris' testimony. And then the entire thing finishes. Ha. You should try some nice sweet cafe con leche at least once, Trey. Uh. Very well, let's continue with your testimony. What happened to Miss Faye when she was attacked by the victim? Well, we still gotta press the rest of it. What the We'll go she back, don't worry. Desperately. And then? Mystic Maya, she turned things around and... She used the weapon she had taken and lunged forward for a strike. This is Maya. Do you really think she'd be good enough to do that? <laughs> well, witness, are you absolutely certain? Yes. But believe me, she had no choice. If Mystic Maya hadn't done something... Maya Faye's name would have been written on this autopsy report instead. Hmm. Yes, I see. This, this, is, this is stupid in my opinion. I mean, <laughs> here's the thing. Obviously... There's a reason that the court system's in place, but I feel like if you are under attack and it's either like you die or the other person dies and you end up defending yourself and you end up going in jail, that just seems weird. Again, in America, I don't think that that happens. Right. If it's a, truly a matter of your life or theirs, then yep. I don't think you get punished. For I don't that. think you do either, but it's weird that they have that in this game. Yeah. It's like, really? Like, really? This is bad. I still can't put the pieces together. Unless I find a contradiction in her testimony, Maya's going to get blamed for this. Despite the fact that she is literally locked in uh, the sacred, sacred cavern. cavern. Yeah. I... I only have this to say. It was only in self-defense, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't blame her for it. So you're saying Maya Faye was the one who stabbed Miss Elise Donum. Sister Iris, is that really what you saw? Yes. Objection! Tisk 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 trait. If your mug is filled with black and bitter suspicions, the only way to get rid of them is to drink them down quick. Like this. Um, I know that's supposed to be a metaphor, but I don't get it. Me either, Phoenix. There's only one thing you need to get, trite. It's called evidence. Now hurry up, before my next cup gets cold. You haven't even poured it yet. What does that mean? Is Godot waiting for me to point out the contradictions? Yeah. He's like, I know she's lying. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he prepared her! He knows this! <laughs> I'd like to avoid the whole spirit channeling thing if I can. Not only would it be inadmissible as evidence, but I think it might actually hurt our standing with the judge. First, I need to pick her testimony apart and expose the unnatural sounding parts. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Iris would tell a story like this, but there are two things I noticed that just don't add up. Yeah. Back we go. This thing is pretty... Your Honor, I have a small problem with the witness's testimony. Y you do? But this witness is your own client. Yes, well, nevertheless. That's fine. Witness, let's add your last statement to the testimony. Y yes, sir. H hey, just a moment. It's my job to say that. Listen, Gramps, I won't say it again. Final judgment will be rendered by me. And then, Godot, and then Godot gets thrown out of court. He would in real life. Okay, now, let's continue. Have you ever she heard- She threw her staff away and pulled the dagger from inside her robe. If she threw her staff away, that's a problem because the staff is at the other spot. <laughs> she threw her staff away? Mystic Elise was trying to kill Mystic Maya. I think that's why she wanted a more lethal weapon. It's true. It's not easy to inflict a deadly blow with a staff. Okay, if it's easy enough to make a deadly blow with a statue, 
figurine thing, then you That's, can do it with That weighs staff. way more than a staff that it, it does. It didn't look like it weighed much. Especially since... Didn't look like it. No. It's you, a statue. No, you take out the batteries, and literally Mia was like, it doesn't weigh much. There's just papers in here. So, it's not that big. It's mean, still it's a just statue. Like, boom. But it would be, like, you could, have the solid. Same, you could have the same kind of blow. Especially if it's there's a freaking heavy. sword inside the staff. It's thick. And it's just like, bam. Out you go. Sister Iris, let me make sure I've got this straight. The victim herself chose to throw away her staff. Yes, that's what I saw. Is there anything odd about that, Mr. Wright? Yeah, it's odd, all right. Mystic Elise attacked Mystic Maya with the dagger. I'm sure of this. She tried desperately to defend herself and bleh. I picked it out immediately. Objection! Oh wait, we're doing that? Sister Iris, there's something strange about your version of events. Huh? Miss Donum throwing her staff away makes no sense at all to me. B but all you can do with a staff is hit someone. Naturally, you wouldn't know this, Sister Iris, but... The victim's staff had a special feature about it. As you can see, it's a sword. <gasps> if Elise Donum really had wanted to kill Maya Fey, she wouldn't have needed to use a separate dagger. Not when she already had a beautiful blade in her hands already. They're like, oh, just use that. <laughs> well, Sister Iris, what do you have to say? Uh, uh, I... That was an impressive bit of investigating, Trite. Too bad you didn't tell us. I never would have thought that a sword hidden in- there was a sword hidden in that staff. But even so, how should I put this? A long sword is unwieldy and thus quite ineffective in close quarters combat. Lies! Yeah. Have <laughs> Maybe... you ever played Fire Emblem? <laughs> yeah, the assassin class is not very good. No. Whereas the mercenary class is amazing. Yeah. Maybe that's why she chose a dagger over her blade. Um... Well, anyway, the type of weapon she chose to use isn't what's important. The important thing is that she tried to kill Maya Fey. Um... As long as there's nothing strange about that, there's no problem with her testimony. But there is something strange about this whole testimony. Well, Mr. Wright, the prosecution has a point. Very well, Your Honor. The defense will now present evidence to back its argument. Mr. Wright... I have here another piece of evidence that shows that this testimony can't be trusted. Because Miss Elise Donum would never attempt to take the life of Maya Faye. Oh, we're gonna expose that it's Misty Faye. Woo! Because <laughs> Maya had my attorney's badge. She wouldn't have attacked an attorney. You wouldn't attack someone with glasses, would you? <laughs> hmm. Well, Mr. Godot, if you ask me, the only thing that seems strange is the angle of Mr. Trite's index finger. Eh? Whenever you point at someone, you have three fingers pointing Pointing back, back at you! you. <laughs> Right, sticking your finger in an electrical outlet might be safer for you. Jeez. Otherwise, it might get bitten off the next time you poke it in the wrong place. Ah! Well, that was fun. I still don't think that Miss Donum would ever attack Maya. If you think about their relationship, it's obvious. Yeah, pretty obvious. At least Donum would never have attacked Maya Fey. How can you be so sure? Because the victim's real name was not Elise Donum. Her real name was... Misty Fay. Fay? Ah! No! Not Mystic Mai- Mystic- Mystic <laughs> Misty Fay! <laughs> who, who is this Misty Fay? Is she related to- Misty Fay is the master of the crane channeling technique. She is also... The mother of Maya Fay. Uh, are you serious? Also, everyone's like, what? Is it really true? Mr. Wright? Is Elise Donum actually the great Mystic Misty? Yeah. There's no doubt about it. It looks like Iris had no idea. I can hardly believe it. The idea that she would try to kill her only daughter, one she hadn't seen in 17 years? Perhaps the prosecution can offer some explanation for why she would do such a thing? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Do we always stand on that side of the bench? Yeah. Do we? Yes. I thought we always stood on the left side of the bench. Oh, we were Edgeworth before. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> order, order in the court. Upon first hearing the witness's testimony, it seems natural enough. 
However, in light of some facts that have just been presented, one, that the victim supposedly threw away a sword during a fight, and two, that the two battling to the death were, uh, were, uh, were mother and daughter, despite the facts being believable when taken on their own, when taken together, the entire story seems difficult to believe. Listen, there's nothing in this world that is impossible. Except for one little thing. Yes, what is this one little impossible thing? Ha! You still don't get it. You think maybe my beans are under-roasted, but you have no idea, Gramps. Um... Could you get to your point? I heard this witness's confession this morning. Just as I had taken the first sip of my eighth cup of morning coffee. You're going to ruin your health, my friend. <laughs> anyway, after hearing this woman's confession, I had a detective who loves to investigate sent to the scene of the crime. And... He discovered this little beauty. Is that the dagger the witness testified to seeing? Obviously, your honor. But you didn't even pull that out until now, really? But do you not notice something else? Now that you mention it, if you look closely, there appears to be a blood stain. You don't really have to look that closely for that. Obviously, she just stuck it in, um, the incinerator. She had a, no she had a nosebleed, and she's just like... <laughs> that would be really funny. Well, where did you find that? I didn't see that when I investigated the crime scene. I picked it up, doofus. Did you investigate the pine tree at the crime scene? Huh? The pine tree? The dagger was stuck in the back side of the pine tree. When the last blow was struck, ending the violent battle between the two women, this little baby was thrown in the direction of the back of the pine tree. Which means... The blood on the dagger belongs to the victim, correct? Ha! Were you even listening, old man? I first heard this confession this morning. Just as I had taken the first sip of my 13th cup of morning coffee. Didn't you say it was your 8th just a few minutes ago? <laughs> I didn't have enough time to get the blood analyzed on such short notice. Should've. In any case, the court will accept the dagger as evidence. Furthermore, I order that a blood test be performed on it immediately. Maybe this, it's Maya's blood. This is my sweetheart. Make sure you treat her right. Wait, Iris or the, the sword? The sword. Oh. <laughs> ba baby, <laughs> get this piece of evidence <laughs> to the crime scene. <laughs> the bailiff, get this piece of evidence to the crime scene immediately. <laughs> That's if he had the female bailiff. The female bailiff. It was also his wife. You know, yeah. so it's kosher. Oh, well, that'd be kind of cute. That added like, to the court judge record. and a bailiff. Now then, the testimony we've just heard has numerous unbelievable aspects to it. <laughs> Attention, Iris, you need to stop lying. Uh -huh. However, after having found the very dagger the witness spoke of, I believe we can consider her testimony to be credible. No, we can't! There's so many holes still. Cute girls never lie. Um, Ever. Oh, wow. That is a big fat lie. Clearly, because we had her uh, twin sister be like, Oh, I I'm never, not a bad person. I could never kill anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, if anything, the cuter girls are the ones that definitely lie. <laughs> and thus, Godot told the biggest lie ever told. <laughs> it's the gosh darn greatest story ever told. In any case, witness, if you could please testify again to this court. Um, about what, your honor? About the incident you saw, the battle between the two women. Yes, your honor. <sighs> Witness testimony. The battle! <laughs> battle? Huh? Mystic Maya stumbled briefly after being hit over the head with the staff. Well, how did she stumble? Did she, like, trip over a root? Or did she would just, like, uh, and, like, stumble back? Getting hit on the head with something, you're like, uh. Okay. Uh. But then she dodged Mystic Elise's next attack and stole her weapon. Well, there's a picture. Ugh. What is with- At least Dota looks like she's a zombie coming to life. <laughs> Meanwhile, Maya looks like she was the one who got stabbed. It looks like they were playing, like, darts. Maya. It looks like Elise was like, Ugh. Maya, you are going to a snowy mountain. Why are you wearing a short skirt and flip-flops? <laughs> it's the attire that you are supposed to wear for the Miss training. Elise Dodum isn't wearing that. <laughs> yeah, but she's also older and she's wearing... She's also, like, kind of playing a costume role. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I mean, Iris is covered up way more than that. Iris? No. Yeah. You can You can see when it zooms out, she, her skirt only comes a little her below skirt, her Her skirt goes down to her ankles. No, it only comes to about her knees. She's wearing pants underneath, I think. Maybe. We'll okay. See. My point is, she's not bare-legged. 
We'll see. When and she, we, I when don't think she's wearing flip flops either. Suddenly, Mystic Elise was the one on defense with her back to the stone lantern. Oh, I thought there would just be a great picture of Maya, like, <laughs> like stabbing. <laughs> That's when Mystic Maya stabbed Mystic Elise. Mystic Elise managed to fling the knife away, but then. Then she collapsed. Wait, so stuck in her. Uh, and then she went. Yeah! <laughs> and then threw it like Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very heartbreaking story. I don't know if there were any bad feelings between them, but it had been 17 years since Mystic Misty's disappearance. Perhaps they simply didn't recognize each other anymore. Hmm, that seems reasonable. It's like, I don't remember you. I'm gonna kill you. That's possible. <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> Hmm, that seems possible. <laughs> now then, Mr. Wright, proceed with your cross-examination. We shall. Next time okay. on Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune it's in next time. Riveting. Next time, Godot's gonna drink like 12 cups of coffee. <laughs> Apparently. More? Not 12. He already had 13 cups. <laughs> no, 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 like no. He only drinks eight. 17 throughout the course of the trial. He can drink as many as he wants before or after it. Oh my gosh, that guy. How does he sleep? <laughs> he doesn't. He's just like, I'm a robot. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -ba -ba. Maybe he, the dead don't need to sleep. <laughs> Maybe. Anyhow, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.